What is up, everybody? Welcome to Series E. This is week two of the season qualifier presented by Esports. We're gonna T-squared here with the man, the myth, the legend. It's a style two up, dude. Very scary doing that, going outside all crazy like that. That was good bait and switch by Crummy and Pickett. One would take damage, one would fall back and heal, and they would just switch over and over again. They should have won the fight a little earlier. Shouldn't have overcommitted outside, but... Team Pringles has been just nasty with the rotations. I mean, they started off with the third party going over towards the Sorting Factory, immediately made the way over towards Geyser, and they're still alive. Also, they're going to be the final third party coming into this fight. They're taking it slow. You don't want to rush into these fights right here. Big 77 pump on the Gibby, 33 cracking, and the knock. We might see a Wraith hiding behind a knockdown per usual. One gets knocked, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Team Pringles is the champion. Team Rockstar, 24 points overall. They must have been getting a lot of kills throughout all of that as they gate-capped over towards that Lava City side. Yeah, and it is Team Pringles who won the previous game, and it's Pringles week, so we might as well start off with them. We're hopping on board in this little hut up here. Getting some weak pumps off on the Watson, but does end up finishing the kill. Hitting the Daltouche damage there for a little bit with the 14, 28 kind of vibes right there. Let's get a pick dropping down, trying to help out the teammate. Gets the thirst on the secondary down, and I believe the fight might be over. No, there might be one left. Up top, you see the peak coming in. Big 98 pump right there. And that is clean white from Team Pringles. Yeah, and they've probably been on this side of the map, probably sitting in the house for a while, but they're going to swing on this last person on the team right there. Farm Luke is taken out, and it was a solo sitting in the house by himself. It's team Rockstar. Take it over, first place, almost doubling everybody in the lobby. Game one and two were bangers, and you know games three through eight are gonna be bangers as well. And now they're just playing it safe, clearing out the rats, checking their back, and they get rewarded finding one right there. That's not just a rat, he has a teammate somewhere. That's a free kill coming in for Team Razor. Yeah, they're gonna look down here, assuming this. But here comes the EMP, they're gonna go and send it. I don't think it was able to pop off, and there goes a nice little fence. Triangle coming in from Bowser, but he gets ripped apart by Hakula. That gets re-answered over there. One player alive. It's going to be a one versus one. Who's going to take this one? It's Team Razor. It's Hakula. It's Zara Tricky coming through. Number four, back-to-back -back wins for Team Razor in a nice team fight against two brains, one controller right there, douche. Yeah, they are taking first place over Team Rockstar by four points. Team Pop-Tarts coming in at third with a decent gap between Razor and Team Pop-Tarts. Game number four, it's halftime, and Team Intel is the team that's playing directly below them. They already used the bubble, and they're getting set. Nice little 112 coming into Tempest. That's gonna be Team Pop-Tarts that just gets melted over there by Intel. Great shots coming in from Hill with this massive rocking the red dot on that one. Interesting portal coming from C. Davis. He wants to get interested in this fight. They're going to go through. Two squads remaining. Perfect timing coming through and crafting taking first place. You probably agree with me here too that the most surprising team today has been team crafting, which is going to be Z. Davis's team. Welcome to game number five. Touche. Let's get into this one and see uh, who's going to pop off here. The 1v3 is Zach. Pull this off. Put him on Twitter. Race Shield was broken before. Not sure if she got a bat off or not. Telos literally standing behind another player. The best rat I have ever seen. Go ahead, we got Amos Estrinko coming in with a big grab. It's a full commit from Team NPL as they push this team right here. Bubble going down. He's getting a wide swing out. Big 112 pump on the Pathfinder. Results in getting the knock on Dracos. Jet taking out the solo rat. Ronnie taking out the Zion with the R9 spray. It's a 2v2, I believe. Ronnie taking out Jen as he tries to control our armor swap, and the NPL comes in with a huge push. We're going into game number six over here. 2v1, I believe. This is going to be tough for him. No bolts on that EV either. Not very good. 40 flesh, 19 flesh. Does he get the knock? I don't know if he does. He's low, but he's doing a good job of staying alive and putting out damage. 42 flesh again. Gets the knock on Oso. Ready. He could win this. The Watson is 1 HP, 7. Ooh, it is a close fight right now. Clinical doing an amazing job of playing his life and keeping the height, trying to shoot through the fence. And he wow. does. He clutches it up. It's the enemy Gibby bubble. I'm not sure if the enemy team quarter away. But, ooh. ooh, a big beam from Bird right there. About 140 on blue armor. Laser beam with the controller. And they kind of they kind of forced themselves into this area with uh, some solid shots and a great push. And now they're being, they're being able to climb up here. Not child. Stunny with the thirst on Gent. He's going to take the rock where Razor is, but instead it's going to be just non-stop action between Team Intel and Team Razor as they do a bubble push over towards this building. A couple of grenades are going to come in. No generators, so those are going to hit. The Mastiffs and the Peaks are just phenomenal coming in for Zara Tricky. Intel didn't stand a chance. They didn't even lose HP on the Give the ult coming down. Bubble going down. We, we see the red tags across the screen right there. Wow. Huge tags with the Give the ult from Zara Tricky right there. And I think maybe everyone's stunned. Hakula going in with the PK. They are just standing watching the portal. It seems to be one team in the circle, and that's it. Where is the other team? They're coming in now. Hakula, very low. 
And they and I think SID, yes, they did. They won the game. We got two games left, Touche. Who do you think is going to take this one? Oof, I don't know. SIZ gaining momentum with every single game. He's hitting, hitting, and they're sprinting next to each other. Bubble going down. It's a race. Master shot, 88, yeah. 70. Go ahead, Tom. Go I ahead. Like, I like the way both of these teams are playing. I mean, yeah, they're taking too long to rotate. They're all going to die. I wish that they would have just took the fight a little bit earlier. But Pringles, I feel like, did the right thing. You can't just leave that for free. It's going to have to be a big 120 plus coming in from Stink. That's not even possible anymore. Is Z Davis going to rip them apart? with the R301, there goes the Wraith Q, but looks like they're just trying to get out of the zone, maybe not give these guys any more KP. It doesn't matter though, Crafting taking first place in that game. Game number eight, let's go down to how you feeling, man. Last game, best game, Tom, you know what this had. Just ate some garlic Parmesan fries, I adjusted my posture. I'm feeling real good. I'm, hope I'm hoping the players feel the same as me because I'm feeling cracked right now. And I don't know, Tom, they could be coming back. They could be. They have to keep an eye out for Team Crafting because that's the team that they're trying to beat. They're also trying to take over where Team Razor's at. Meanwhile, well, another one of our partner teams is going to be Team Applejacks. Great massive shots followed up with some spicy wingman shots there for Lion. There goes the next. They're going to push red tags right there on the Eva. Peek in the bubble a little bit. Doesn't have shield. Teammate goes down. The Washington swing on the left side as Hill takes the battery behind. And they're just playing on both sides of the bottom of this tower or leg to the tower. He'll throw in the ultimate, not sure if that's going to be that great with the overshadowing leg of the tower right there. He'll kind of hitting himself with the ult maybe. Yep, he's hitting himself, <laughs> he goes down to his own ult. And here comes E-Boy Ronnie with the PK. It's getting spicy. Someone's still yeah. up top, I believe. Yep, Castellos was up top the entire time. He goes down. And NPL looking for the last kid. Might not be a full team. Don't know what happened, but NPL is the winner. Team Razor, no strangers to being in first place when it comes to the qualifiers. They were the team that placed the highest, 137 points over their span of playing, 90 today, so a great performance by them. Yeah, and thanks to all our teams that participated, our partners as well, to Esports Arena for putting this on, and a special thanks to EA. We'll see you tomorrow for more Series E.